Welcome to our channel. Easy learn, funny learn. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi my dear kids. In this video we are going to see chapter 5. Our freedom struggle from International Social Studies Olympiad MTG Workbook of Class 5. The skills covered in this chapter are the British rule, the revolt of 1857, the freedom struggle and the role of Mahatma Gandhi. First one, who was the first Viceroy of India? Option A, Lord Canning, B, Lord Ripon, C, Lord Curzon, D, Lord Hardinge. So, option A, Lord Canning was the first Viceroy of India. Option A, second one, who among the following were the first to come to India and start the trade? A, French, B, English, C, Portuguese, D, Dutch. So, the Portuguese were the first to come to Calicut and start trading with India. So, option C is the correct answer. Option C, Portuguese. Third one, one of the policies introduced by British enabled them to take control of any Indian state if the ruler of that state had died without leaving a natural born heir, which had to be the ruler's own son. What was the name of this policy? Option A. Subsidiary Alliance B. Ilbert Bill C. Morley Minto Reforms D. Doctrine of Labs So the name of that policy was Doctrine of Labs Okay, Option D. Option D is the correct answer. Fourth one. Surajit Daula was the Nawab of Dash A. Bhopal B. Bengal C. Gujarat D. Rajasthan So Surajit Daula was the Nawab of Bengal Okay. Option B is the correct answer. Option B. Fifth one. Who gave this famous slogan? Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. Option A. Mahatma Gandhi. B. Kudiram Bose. C. Subhash Chandra Bose. And then D. Bala Gangadhar Tilak. Okay. So option D. Bala Gangadhar Tilak is the correct answer. Option D. So, Bala Gangadhar Tilak was one of the leaders of Indian National Congress who felt the need to involve the common people of India in the struggle for freedom. So, he gave the slogan, Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. So, option D. Sixth one, the incident that led Gandhiji to call off the non-cooperation movement was dash. A. Jalin Vallabhak Maskar B. Partition of Bengal See Chauri Chaura incident, this Vadeshi movement. Gandhiji launched the non cooperation movement against the British in 1920. He asked the people of India not to cooperate with the British government. However, the protests grew violent, and on one such occasion, an angry mob burned down a police station at Chauri Chaura, killing 22 policemen. This incident hurt Gandhiji. So, he called off the movement. So, option C is the correct answer. That incident is Chauri Chaura incident. Option C. Seventh one. He was a prominent leader of Indian National Congress. He formed the Indian National Army to overthrow the British rulers from India. Who was he? Option A. Lala Lajpat Roy. B. Mahatma Gandhi. C. Veer Savarkar. D. Subhash Chandra Bose. So, Subhas Andrabos was a prominent leader of Indian National Congress. He formed Indian National Army to overthrow the British rulers from India. So, option D is the correct answer. Option D. Eighth one, identify the revolutionary shown in the picture who played a significant role in the struggle for freedom. A. Bhagat Singh, B. Rajguru, C. Sukhdev, D. Chandrasekhar. So, option A, Bhagat Singh. Okay, option A, Bhagat Singh is the correct answer. Ninth one, by profession, Mahatma Gandhi was a, option A, barrister, B, teacher, C, doctor, D, engineer. So, at the age of 18 years, Gandhiji went to London to train as a barrister. Okay, option A is the correct answer. Option A, by profession, Mahatma Gandhi was a barrister. Tenth one, in the northwestern part of India, the civil disobedience movement was led by Option A. Subhash Chandra Bose B. Mahatma Gandhi C. Sarojini Naidu D. Khan Abdul Kafar Khan So, in the northwestern part of India, 
the civil disobedience movement was led by mahatma gandhi option b is the correct answer option b 11th one gandhi ji launched the dandi march to break the dash a caste system b salt law c satyapradha d purda system so gandhi ji launched the dandi march to break the salt law okay option b is the correct answer option b according to the salt law introduced by the british government people were not allowed to make salt from the sea water they have to purchase the salt from the british at a higher price by paying salt tax so gandhi ji decided to break this law so option b is the correct answer 12th one the quiet india movement was launched in dash so the quiet india movement was launched in august 1942 so the famous slogan do or die was given by gandhi ji during this movement so option d august 1942 13th which viceroy of india announced the partition of india into india and pakistan a clement atlee b lord curzon c lord erwin d lord mountbatten so lord mountbatten announced the partition of india into india and pakistan option d is the correct answer option d 14 who threw bombs in the central legislative assembly in new delhi on april 8 1929 option a bhagat singh and padikeshwar dutt so option a is the correct answer they threw the bombs in the central legislative assembly against the passing of two repressive bills they are the public safety bill and the trade dispute bill so option a is the correct answer 15th bala gangadhar tilak started in newspaper in which he criticized the policy of the british government what was the name of this newspaper option a the hindu b indian mirror c kesari d sudark so the name of that newspaper was kesari option c is the correct answer 16th the first session of the indian national congress was held in dash a bombay b calcutta c gujarat d delhi so the first session of the indian national congress was held in bombay option a is the correct answer option a 17 the british government used dash to prevent coming together of hindus and muslims a charter act b ilbert bill c rowlett act d policy of divide and rule so the british government used policy of divide and rule to prevent coming together of hindus and muslims option d is the correct answer option d 18th which of the following is called the first war of independence option a swadeshi movement b revolt of 1857 c the simon commission d the non cooperation movement so to be free from the unjust british rule people of india united themselves and revolted against the british government in 1857 this revolt is known as the revolt of 1857 it is called the first war of independence okay it is called the first war of independence so option b is the correct answer option b 19th who was the president at the first session of the indian national congress a w c bonarji b dada bhai naroji c gopal krishna gokhale d badruddin tayyab ji so the indian national congress was started by a v hume and the president of the session was w c bonarji okay option a is the correct answer option a w c bonarji was the president at the first session of the indian national congress next to 20 the muslim league was formed in dash so the muslim league was formed in 1906 okay option d is the correct answer option d next achiever section so first one which of the following statement are correct so we need to select the correct statement so first one the east india company set up its first trade center in bombay it is incorrect statement because the east india company set up its first trade center in surat okay in surat second one the french set up their own trading company and established themselves in chandranagor in bengal 
so it is the correct statement it is the correct statement third one battle of placid took place in 1757 so it is also the correct statement fourth the battle of buxar was won by nawab of awadh it is the incorrect statement because the battle of buxar was won by british okay so the correct statement are 2 1 3 only 2 1 3 only so option b is the correct answer option b 22 refer to the given word grid which of the following cannot be found in the given word grid so first one one of the state captured by british by applying doctrine of lapse b one of the prominent leaders of revolt of 1857 c east india company established its first trading center here in india d founder of indian national congress so my dear kid please pause the video and try to find the answers for the below questions in the given word grid so first is satara it is one of the state captured by british by applying doctrine of lapse next is nana sahib he was one of the prominent leaders of revolt of 1857 next is surat english east india company established its first trading center here in india so the answer for option a is hidden in the given word grid b is there c is there and the founder of indian national congress so a o h u m it is not hidden in the given word grid so option d is the correct answer option d 23 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option so p non cooperation movement so we know non cooperation movement started in 1920 so p4 so option a either a or c will be correct next gandhi ji came back to india from south africa that is in 1950 1915 so q1 so option c is the correct answer next jalian walabak masker that is in 1919 so r2 then partition of bengal in 1905 so s3 so p4 q1 r2 s3 so option c is the correct answer option c 24th read the given statement and state which one are true and which one are false so one jawarkalal nehru was known as the frontier gandhi so it is false one because khan abdul ghafar khan was known as the frontier gandhi to bala gangadhar tilak quoted you give me blood and i will give you freedom so it is also false because subhash chandra bose quoted you give me blood and i will give you freedom third one the revolutionaries believed that the british could be driven away by armed revolution so it is true for the during a demonstration in dandi march lala lajpat roy was hit badly on his head and later died due to injuries it is false because during a demonstration against simon commission okay simon commission lala lajpat roy was hit badly on his head and he later died due to injuries so false false true false so option a is the correct answer option a 25th the last question what led to the demonstration shown in the picture option a introduction of salt law by sir john simon b indian goods were replaced by british goods c no indian was made a member of the simon commission d jalian walabak masker so the given picture shows demonstration against simon commission that came to india in 1928 this commission was appointed to bring about some reforms in the administration of india but as no india was made member of this commission so it was greeted with a slogan simon go back okay so it was greeted with the slogan simon go back so option c is the correct answer because no indian was made a member of the simon commission option c is the correct answer thank you my dear kid for watching this video if you feel like this video please like and subscribe it will motivate me to post more videos thank you in our next video we are going to see great achievers thank you